they're programmed by society. No, because women are hypergamous and they look yeah, around they and think, they look for the best. They, they, the they, best they think I can replace you, and I can, but yeah. men are not like that. Yeah, men, no. men, mm. A man can see somebody who's a, who's a That's model. That's a big difference. She's beautiful. Yeah. She could be 10 times more than you, and he still wouldn't want her. He would mm. still want his wife. Yeah. There, there's a Do big you know difference. Why? Because when you're outside, yeah, this whole, they seem to look like, you know, this whole thing about being outside. Mm. Like, it's summer now, sundress season. You know what I mean? Like, man are outside now. They like, and, I, and the reason why I'm saying, I'm speaking about, because people, people breaking up relationships are breaking up. Um, you know, people are in Malta. People in, in <laughs> people in Ibiza. People are in Marbella. Listen, do you know what's going on over there right now? Mm. Like, and, and what is it all in aid for? What is it really? You know what, what I is think? It? It's I all think, fake. You see, when women are in relationships, when they're married and stuff, and they get attention from other men. They love it. No, they love it, but they're delusion. They're delusion. And I'll tell you why. Because they think to themselves, okay, I'm with this guy that I'm with, but look at how much attention I'm getting off that guy. I'm getting off this guy. I'm getting if I wasn't with him, I could have gone with that guy. No, I could have gone. But they're not realizing. They just want to blow, blow your they're, back they're, up. They don't, they're, want, they're not, they don't want right, this is what I was gonna say. They're not realizing that those guys who are giving you that attention are not giving you that attention because they want a wife for you. Mm. They're giving you that attention because they can see your physical. Yeah. And they just want to blow your back out. I think that's the biggest once disconnect. They've blown, once they've blown your back out, Dumb. they are not going to look at you again. I'll be honest with you. Like, like I don't know, man. Like, and it's not until they go with a few of them that they realise I was that. outside the other night. I was, I was out with my guy. We was outside the other night. And I was just looking. I had a lot of girls come up to me. Because I say it before. I don't... I don't approach women. It's never been something I did. Mm. Like, and I don't do it. I don't mean I don't approach women because I'm scared. I just, it's always been, women have always approached me. And that was way before this Me Too era, right? Where, <laughs> where women are saying, you need to, oh, you've been walking the same side of the road. You need to cross the street. What are you, <laughs> are you like, so now when a work in a world where I'm like, no, you better come and speak to me. I ain't got time to be, get your phone. It's true equality, man. Yeah, it's true equality. Like, that's, that's what feminism like, about, oh, true equality. I was minding my own business and trying to try to speak to me. Now they recorded and put me on Instagram. Look at no, but you better come and make it known because and this is what women have done. They've gone and created a scenario where a lot of times that's how men feel. Now, back to um, you know, the dating of younger women. Like, you know, I'm you know, when I started podcasting, I was um, I was in a relationship. No, I'm not. Now you can take you can take from that what you want to take from it. Um, but what I will say, what I will say is is no good girls aren't outside, and your wifey's not outside. Now you're not gonna meet your wifey out in a club. You're not gonna it's meet not your wifey true. out in a festival. It's been like that for the longest, though. You can't say that. I can say that because it's, it's less I can. likely. Oh, it's less it's still possible. likely. You yeah. cannot say. Yeah, but, you cannot say. So what we're doing now? So what? So good girls don't go out and enjoy. Okay, themselves. okay. You, you know what you're good, doing what? now. Do you know what you're doing now? You're doing that thing where women say, "Oh, oh." Oh, how probable is it? It's like, uh, yeah, it can happen, but possibility versus probability. Yeah. It's possible. It's possible. Let me just say, uh, no, wait, hold on. It's possible. You're saying, no, wait, 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 hold on. How? Okay. You're saying yeah. you cannot meet a woman, yeah, a good girl in a club, in a festival, or anywhere, yeah? Yeah, facts. Where the hell are you meant to meet her? Not there. In no. restaurants. Okay. In a library. But <laughs> can't That's a fast, that one. No, no you can't <laughs> say that. You can't talk to a library. In the planetarium. <laughs> yeah, in the planetarium. Else, no, no, I'm being... No, shush, shush. No, listen, no you can't listen, say that. Listen, listen. You cannot say... I can. You, you're not going to meet them because I'll tell you why. They have to go out and enjoy themselves as well. Same reason. So are you not a good guy then? Because you're in these places. 